Nagtataka ka ba kung bakit dala-dalawa ang gamot mo sa high blood? Ano ba talaga ang mas effective? Combination ba o single pill medication for hypertension? Watch this video to find out more! Hi! I'm Doc Abby and welcome back to my channel. Ang drug spotlight natin ngayon ay Amlodipine o ang Calcium Channel Blocker with combination of Losartan, Telmisartan, Valsartan, and other angiotensin receptor blocker or ARB. Click nyo na lang ang video link na ito kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung previous topic natin sa ARB. Ano ba ang Calcium Channel Antagonist? This is also known as Calcium Channel Blockers. Ang Calcium Channel Antagonist blocks the inward movement of calcium sa ating puso, ugat, enlapay, or pancreas. Meron tayong dalawang categories ng Calcium Channel Blockers based on primary effect, non-dihydropyridine and dihydropyridine. Ang non-dihydropyridine directly affects sinoatrial node or SA node located sa right atrium and AV node or atrioventricular nodes and both are located inside our heart. Ito ang dinadaanan ng electrical activity ng ating puso. Pababagali niya ang electrical conduction ng puso and also lessen the cardiac contractility or forceful contraction ito. Kaya pwede ito sa mga high blood and can reduce oxygen demand and control the rate of tachydysrhythmia or mabilis na pagtibok ng puso. Ang dihydropyridine mostly affects blood vessels. Pinaparelax niya ang mga ugat para pababain ang blood pressure. Bukod dito, makakatulong din ito sa mga patients na nagkaroon na ng brain hemorrhage or migraine headaches. Ano naman ang mga side effects ng calcium channel blockers? Non-dihydropyridine may cause constipation, worsening cardiac output, ito yung buga ng dugo ng ating puso kada minuto, and bradycardia o pagbagal ng tibok ng puso na less than 60 beats per minute dahil ang normal heartbeat natin ay between 60 to 100. Dihydropyridines may lead to lightheadedness, flushing, headaches, and peripheral edema or pamamanas ng paa o binte. Peripheral edema is likely related to the redistribution of fluid from the intravascular space o ang daluyan ng dugo papunta sa pagitan ng ating mga tissues or interstitium. There have also been reports of gingival hyperplasia o pangangapal ng gums to those who are taking verapamil. There are some precautions using verapamil and diltiazem. Never use it sa mga may acute heart failure because it may further depress the heart. Some patients are taking combination of two drugs such as amlodipine with losartan. Binibigay sa inyo ito ng inyong doktor para mas makontrol ng mabuti ang pagtaas ng inyong blood pressure. Magkaiba sila ng mode of action. Ang amlodipine, directly involved sa blood vessel and heart while dosartan naman ay sa receptors sa part naman ng kidney. Ito yung angiotensin receptor na diniscuss ko sa previous topic natin. Based on guidelines, low-dose combination of two hypertensive medication is better than higher dose of one hypertensive medication. If you want further clarification about your hypertensive medication, better consult your doctor to optimize your blood pressure reduction. Not all hypertensive medication created equal. I hope you learned a lot on this topic. Huwag niyo pong kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe sa aking channel. 
click nyo na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa next video natin. Mabuti na ang may alam para ligtas sa karamdaman. See you soon!